Breaking news from the Chiefs Super Bowl parade in Kansas City, where police say one person is dead after a shooting incident west of Union Station. This was the venue for the victory parade this afternoon. Kansas City police said they have two suspects in custody. Police estimating that 10 to 15 people had been transported to hospitals. And Chiefs trainer Rick Burkholder said the team was on buses returning to Arrowhead Stadium when the shooting occurred. Here now, Mayor Quentin Lucas and Police Chief Stacy Graves. Police Chief Graves will give details on the incident that happened earlier today. A few things that I want to make sure we note at the outset. Uh, first today, we had 600 Kansas City, Missouri Police Department officers, 250 from outside agencies. We went out today, like everyone in Kansas City, looking to have a celebration. The celebration was marred by a shooting today. And we recognize that there are some who are injured. We are praying for the safety of everyone. I've talked to a few different different uh, folks so far. One, we have spoken to the Kansas City Chiefs, who made clear that their prayers are with everyone who was at the parade today, everyone in Kansas City, and everyone who was touched by this incident. They also noted that their players, coaches, and staff are all accounted for at this point and safe. We, however, know that this is a fluid situation, so all that we are sharing now may change as the hours go ahead. We've also received a call from the White House that offered all federal assistance in the investigation. We had federal agencies present today. We appreciate that, and certainly in the days ahead and the hours ahead, we will make sure we continue to do this work. I will say personally, first, a thank you to the women and men of law enforcement, to the women and men who work with the Kansas City Fire Department and our other agencies. When the shooting started, I, like many others, ran and ran for safety. I saw a number of agencies, including the Kansas City Police Department, officers with guns drawn who were running towards danger. We thank them for that. As I was leaving the scene, I saw members of our Kansas City Fire Department administering aid to folks who were seriously injured without concern for the shootings and the challenges that were near them. This is absolutely a tragedy, the likes of which we would have never expected in Kansas City, and the likes of which we will remember for some time. However, I want to say thank you to those who are making sure that we are safe today, those who are investigating this incident, and those who will continue to make sure that those who committed these acts today are brought to justice. We'll come back for some questions at the end of the Chief's comments, but now the Police Chief, Stacy Graves. Chief Stacy Graves, Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. At the conclusion of the Chief's rally today, there were shots fired on the west side of Union Station. Immediately, officers responded to the area, took two people into custody, and also immediately rendered life-sustaining aid to those victims. We're still gathering information on the number and the status of victims. But like I said, we know that one of the victims is deceased. We also know that officers ran towards danger. Officers were there to keep everyone safe. I'm angry at what happened today. The people who came to this celebration should expect a safe environment. We had over 800 law enforcement officers, Kansas City and other agencies, at the location to keep everyone safe. Because of bad actors, which were very few, this tragedy occurred, even in the presence of uniformed law enforcement officers, who again ran towards them and took them into custody. To the people who were injured in this tragedy, our hearts go out to you and your families. This investigation is just beginning and we are working safely to clear all surrounding areas and businesses. This is still an active investigation. Uh, we will continue to keep you updated. We will keep you updated on Twitter and most likely a follow-up uh, press availability. You can hear even with the Press conference given from the mayor and the police chief still very much an active situation there. Patrick Mahomes took to social media uh, shortly after getting safely, and he said, praying for Kansas City, the praying emojis, and for continuing coverage, go to CBS News Streaming, and we'll keep you updated on developments right here on CBS Sports HQ. 
We're bringing you some breaking news. A day of celebration turned to tragedy Wednesday when gunshots rang out in Kansas City just moments after the Chiefs wrapped up their Super Bowl victory rally. Now, authorities say one person is dead and estimate that 10 to 15 people were injured when shots were fired just west of Union Station in downtown Kansas City. Police have confirmed that two suspects were taken into custody. Here's more from Mayor Quentin Lucas. When the shooting started, I, like many others, ran and ran for safety. I saw a number of agencies, including the Kansas City Police Department, officers with guns drawn who were running towards danger. We thank them for that. As I was leaving the scene, I saw members of our Kansas City Fire Department administering aid to folks who were seriously injured without concern for the shootings and the challenges that were near them. This is absolutely a tragedy, the likes of which we would have never expected in Kansas City, and the likes of which we will remember for some time. However, I want to say thank you to those who are making sure that we are safe today, those who are investigating this incident, and those who will continue to make sure that those who committed these acts today are brought to justice. And here's a statement from the Kansas City Chiefs on the incident saying we're truly saddened by the senseless act of violence that occurred outside of Union Station. At the conclusion of today's parade and rally, our hearts go out to the victims, their families, and all of Kansas City. We're in close communication with the mayor's office as well as the Kansas City Police Department. At this time, we have confirmed that all of our players, coaches, staff, and their families are safe and accounted for. We thank the local law enforcement officers and first responders who were on scene to assist. Make sure you stay with CBS Sports HQ and CBS News for the latest on this developing story.